years old. And a franchise that was the first U.S. team in the NHL back in 1924 called the Bruins. Greetings, everyone, with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up. I'm Mike Emmerich, and tonight we get to see the top team in the East. My question is not how they got there, but how do they stay on top? Will continue to do the things that you have, Doc, and I think it all starts with this team is hard work. Whether they're in front or they're from playing from behind, they just seem to play with that same consistency. You know they have their hard hats on and they're going to continue to compete. But the one thing that doesn't get talked enough about this particular club is they have great chemistry both on and off the ice. The Islanders have separated themselves from everybody else in the East. You really get a sense of that when you walk into their locker room. There's great camaraderie. There's great chemistry. You know they're playing for one another. That's what separates them from everybody else in the East. Shoots. Didn't miss by much. Right idea, but he just missed the net. Let's a shot fly. He scores! But maybe it's a high stick. They're going to signal no goal. Maybe no they'll go upstairs. Goal. Looks like they will. There was no indecision there. The referee waved it off right away, but there is going to be a video review. The Islanders' goal is going to count. Certainly no support for the officials from this home crowd. They're not very happy. Crosby's goal has given his team the early lead. I think everybody in the building felt the momentum starting to change. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Number 87, Sidney Crosby, assisted by number 50. Shoots! Nicholas Cromwell, and by number 50, Paul Martin. Snapping a pass to Buffalo. Pitching this one to Couture. Fantastic shutdown! <laughs> Propelled to Crosby. And he steps across the line. Blocked away. Nap by Dustin Bufflin. Nicely into the zone. And snap to Henrik Sedin. Paddled aside. Breakaway. Not there. Oh, he's going to rue this one. You don't get many breakaways anymore in the game. He's got one. And he misses the net. Henrik Sedin's shaken up on the play, but he's gamely hanging in out there. Pass attempt to Dubinsky. Good stick presence. New York's forced another turnover in this very close game. Good stick there, so the pass is not complete. Gains the blue line. New York's continuing to probe up the wing. He's in! Wonderful stop by Price. Passes to the slot. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. And play is stopped for a penalty. The Islanders are boxed on a tripping minor. Now, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck. But he tripped up the attacking player. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. They win the draw. That hit somebody. That's a free puck thanks to the play by Jokin. Wanting to generate something up the wing. Let's it go. I can't find the target. My dad once told me, Doc, if you don't hit the net, you can't score. Passing one off now to Couture. On to Jokinen. Tries to get it on net. That puck out of play over the glass, and a young lady from Shawinigan came up with that. Crosby's among the highest goal scorers in the league. He does his damage from in close to the net. He'll power his way in looking for rebounds. He's got a real knack for where the loose puck is. Good face-off win. Great job on a cut pass. Gains the zone. And picked up now by Buffman. Boston setting things up at center. Back near the blue line to Henrik Sedin. Terrific save. Terrific opportunity. 
a missed opportunity from this close in. Boston's power play fails this time, and so they are still down by one. To Holland. A shot. That one blocked. Moving it to Dubinsky. Directing that one to Couture. Chip to Bufflin. Moving it on up the wing. Let's it go. The Islanders starting back in their own end. Looking to Matthias. Gets in. What'll he do? Collected by Hagelin. Slid to Murphy. And now it's directed to Hagelin. Takes it right back. He's got it. To Henrik Sedin. Boston's carrying on up the wing. Terrific poke check to break up that odd man rush. Trying to go to Erickson. Shoots one. And a good save there. The Bruins in possession as they travel in their own end. A backhand shot. Deflected off the blocker. Loose puck, it went off somewhere. Laid on to Erickson. Propelled to Beck. On to Chipchura. Pass cut, strong play. Last minute of play in the first Inside period. the final minute of the period. Pitching it to Andreo. Offside is called. Somebody got over anxious. Price had to be sharp there. That was an excellent scoring chance, but he was at his very best to make the save on the wrister. The Bruins are only half of the group in this game that has played very well over the last 10 games. Both of these teams have played almost identically. Their records are almost identical as they head into this matchup. And this play is whistled down. It is offside. The Bruins get it off the faceoff. Onside, speared along by Markov. Grabbed! Oh, if you're a shooter, you don't want to see the goaltender flash his glove like that. The first 20 minutes are over, and so all of us get a break here before the start of the second period. Only one goal scored, lots of time left to play. Let's look at the shot board, and the total comes out seven for the Islanders and four for Boston. Anderson's been spectacular in goal. Here's one of several big saves. Intermission is next. One period played. A second period is about to begin. What do you think of what we've seen so far? The Bruins are down in this game, Doc, and rightfully so. They did not manage the puck at all. If they want to get back in that game, they got to eliminate those turnovers. Great club save. And he'll hold on. New York's been an offensive juggernaut led by this player who has among the highest points totals in the league. He's a dangerous player, remarkably skilled on the power play. Defensive zone win. Can he send it out? Puck is thrown to Vanek. The Bruins continue to probe up the wing. Let's it go. A wonderful scoring chance denied. Smart recovery by Jokin. Takes a shot. A magnificent pad save. Gathered up again by Erickson. To Couture. Chip to Cronwall. Park loose. Couldn't get through. He's in on an onside play. Brings a shot. Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. The Islanders continue on in their own end. And he gains the zone. Puck collected by Martin. Gathered up by Smith. Fires. Great glove save, but it's loose. Snapping a pass to Pominville. The Bruins have it along the boards. It's dumped in. Pass off the woodwork to Hamhughes. Pitching this one to Smith. 
shot blocked. Nice work by Yandel. Zone to zone to Dubinsky. Pope checked away. Up that right side to Ham Hughes. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Let's it go. Right in that catching glove. Good work. That shot's a muffin. The goalie can stop that all day long. Nice face-off work. Penalty coming up, but it's a delayed call. Matthias is sent to the box for a penalty, and it's boarded. These are the type of plays, Doc, that we want to eliminate from the game where the attacking player has no chance to protect himself when getting hit from behind. Boston's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Quick work on the faceoff. That's turned aside. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Saucer to Faxa. That shot came from right in front. Shoots. Great glove save, and he keeps it. There was some room. Not enough. Great glove save. Crosby's play defensively has grown in leaps and bounds. As a result, he has among the highest plus-minus totals in the league. Just over nine minutes left to go here in the second. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's 1-0. Boston's getting an attack ready in their own end. Used the stick well, didn't he? That one by Ham Hughes. And he dumps it in. The Islanders have possession in their own end. Pass attempt to Faxa. Into the attacking end. Jabbed away by Yandel. The Bruins missed out on that power play, and it's wonderful save. It didn't look like he had a thing to shoot at. The goalie makes himself look big. This thing changes direction. It's an excellent stop for the goaltender. New York's got it. Hammers one. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. Buck gathered in by Smith. Passing one off now to Murphy. And he steps across the line. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. Punched away. And play stopped because of an offside. They have sold out every game lately, and he has to help the players, right? Not the case, Doc. This team has gone through some trying times, but the tide has turned. Lots of hard work, improved play both on and off the ice. Boston's got that neutral zone faceoff. That's a good solid poke check. Moving it to Matthias. Breakaway chance. Big chance here. Not on the net. Well, there wasn't a lot to shoot at. The goaltender had good positioning. Shoots. Desperate save. He's always been one guy that never gives up on a play. The Bruins through the neutral zone have it. Gets in. Looks over his options here. Taken over now by Ham Hughes. And he gains the zone. Let's it go. Over the top of the net. A high shot and a great opportunity. Let's it go. He scores. The goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. Price can't handle that shot high to the stick side. You'd think he'd be able to get a blocker on it, but this beats him pretty good. New York's built a 2-0 lead here, scoring here late in the second period. A huge advantage in time of possession for them, and finally it shows up on the scoreboard again. Fires turned aside. The Islanders with possession in their own end. It's an onside play. 
shoot. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Outstanding save with a glove. What a glove save. He showed him the glove and he took it away. I don't know how the shooter can do much more than that. The goaltender made an excellent save on a great bid for goal. Beat him on that one. Good work with the stick. A shot. Just couldn't find the target. That's two periods in the books. One more to go, but a rest comes first. Two period shots on goal totals read like this. 19 for the Islanders and nine for the Bruins. Are you ready for your walk down memory lane? The Islanders, on the strength of this late period goal, carry a two goal lead into the dressing room. We'll return in just a moment. For details. Forty minutes down, at least twenty minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? The Bruins have been a bit frustrated, Doc, after two periods of play. They were down on the scoreboard. They have the prospects of a real hot goaltender in front of them. As their coach, I would tell them to stay with it. Eventually, you get one, and then you get another, and you'll be right back in this game. Taken on by Jokin. Loose puck. The defense was in the way. Wasn't intentional. Didn't go well. Loose puck. Directing that one to Atkinson. What a save! I was looking for the light to come on. Oh, and the pass just didn't work. Shoots one. That shot hit a man. The Bruins up the wing, lugged the puck. Possession once again by Jalmerson. The stick broke on the shot. Could not be filtered through a strong play by Cronwall. Outstanding play. Looking to Atkinson. And now it's directed to Crosby. Trying to go to Dubinsky. With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Sometimes there's just nowhere to go with the puck. Guys, this is an excellent shot, but the goaltender makes an excellent pad save. Over five minutes play. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. Face-off win here. Turn the shot on net. Blockered away. He pulled it right back. Good poke check by Smith. Pitching it to Markov. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Poke checked away by Henrik Sedin. Seeks the corner. Fires off a body. Not on goal. Boston's lugging it along in their own end, shifting gears. Shot into the path. Lurched back and froze it. You're not going to beat a goaltender of this caliber with that shot. That's a pretty easy blocker stop. The Bruins win it. New York's carrying it up the wing. Shot! Great point blank save. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. He throws it there. Gloved! Well, the hands are quicker than a glove. Great save. Oh, he was able to get the glove on this excellent scoring chance. Looked like he had him beat, but he's in good shape and he makes an incredible glove stop. Austin's got a face-off win. To Matthias. Score! Three straight goals. Tyesh gave the goaltender no time to react with that quick snapshot. 
Price looks like he's almost guessing here as he drops into position. There's still room. New York's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. Taken on by Clifford. Puck is thrown to Faxa. Slid to White. The pass fails and the puck leaves the zone. And the linesmen were watching very carefully. That is an offside. The upcoming schedule is a favorable one. Lots of home games all in a row. No buses and no airplanes during this next stretch. Has it back deep. Carried to the corner boards by Clifford with a shot. Oh, deflected away. Snapping a pass to White. He's in! That one just hit the post. Back in his defensive end to get it. The Islanders are lugging it back through the defensive end. Moved along and in. Let's it go! Great glove save! You can't ask for a better opportunity in the scoring zone. What a great glove save. It's another sell -out game. The team would like to thank you for your game. The Bruins are getting great goaltending. Here's another great glove save. This should really spark the team. A tad over five minutes still left in the third. The Islanders just keep building on that earlier lead. They're up now by three. That one's to him from his goaltender. No shadow of the boards here. Possession seized by White. Gets across, looks over his options. Offensive possession here. Got it all. The goalie gave him the glove side, and he took it away. What a stop. Puck controlled by Crosby. Little pass from his goalie here. Point to point pass from the left wing. Tape to tape to center. Good, quick stick. In all alone! Possession seized by Crosby. Looks from the corner. Possession re-established. Score! He's got his second! get this close to the goaltender to puck on your stick, you gotta snap it quick. New York's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. Boston's got that one, now what? So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. Oh, and it's off the mark. Here's one of those times where you look at the net and there's nothing there. Wow, what a glove save. Oh, he's outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. 38 left on the clock. Puck now possessed by Dubinsky. The Bruins wheel one ahead up the wing. In the slot, score! Well, we'll look better, especially to those who didn't see this game. The Bruins have gotten one, but they still trail by an enormous score. Let's see if they can work on their flow, get their offense going, and maybe get a couple more to be more respectful. On the outside, a shot. Oh, he got that! Scooped up by Jokic. Opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Possession taken by Mark. He scores! Martin Slapshot had some heat on it. Bryce felt he was in pretty good position here. I thought he had a chance at it, but it's just too quick a shot.
New York's got another face-off win. Cranks one. Give that goalie credit for another. And that's the end of the game. Two teams battled pretty hard. The Islanders have another win, and the streak continues. It doesn't seem to matter who the opponent is because this team is really executing effectively on their game. That's another win, and the streak continues. That's it for another great night at a hockey rink. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good evening, everyone.